That's a crazy lunch. My worst nightmare has come true. 2022 and Brodas has released their new Air King. No! Strawberry cheesecake! I'm very upset. Welcome to Lil for Life. If you're new to this channel, this channel is about family life in Shanghai, China. It's also about random things that I like. And so watches is one of them. Although I wouldn't really call myself a watch enthusiast because quite simply, I don't have the money to be buying watches all the time. Maybe you were just searching for Rolex Air King and you wanted to find out more about the new Air King that was released this year, 2022. This is not going to be a video about that, so you can probably just stop the video right now, to be honest. Just a few remarks about the new Air King. I absolutely love it. I love the crown guard. I love that it has a cleaner, more contemporary edge. Uh, I love that it has that class bracelet, not this pretty basic bracelet, to be honest. They have put a zero in front of the five. They also moved this Swiss made slightly. It looks really nice. Given the choice, I would definitely buy the new Air King. It looks bellissimo. But at the end of the day, this is my Air King, and here's my story. I'm going to talk about three things. The first one is just about generally my watch habits and my watch collection. The second is about this particular Air King and what it means to me. And the third point is really why I decided to purchase the Air King. So, about watches, as long as I can remember, I have always loved watches. And I think one of the reasons behind that was because growing up in London, we had to wear school uniform from primary right through to secondary. And you know, you could never really uh, dress what you thought was the coolest outfit. So, so the watch has always been something to show who you are. So watches was one of the ways we could do that. I remember growing up in London, one of my best friends, Chinese guy from Hong Kong, he had a couple of G-Shocks and I always thought they were super cool. I was watching the Jimmy O Yang I forgot which watch channel, I can't remember. I'll post the link below. And it's quite interesting how in the state and in the UK, the cultural similarities of those who either they born overseas or grow up overseas. So he really talked about how growing up, his dad always saw the two-tone Rolex they just as the symbol of success. It's very much the same for me. Growing up, my dad had a Rolex, he had a Tudor. He's Tudor, I still remember it. I used to look at it feeling like there's something so elegant about this watch. And of course, his two-tone uh, date just was just in you know, a beautiful watch. So growing up, to me, Rolex has always been this symbol of luxury watch. Right now, I only have three watches in my collection. My Rolex Air King, which is this trusty piece of kit that you see. Then I have a G-Shock Casio. My wife, on her birthday, she gave me a Casio uh, as a surprise. And I guess you can tell it takes inspiration from the AP iconic watch. I love it. And then I have this Nixon from a family member who left Shanghai, decided to give me this watch that she had, very elegant. I'm gonna get it fixed once this pandemic is over. So now I'm gonna talk about my Rolex. So I bought this two years ago. This was really commemorate my decade in China. In the first decade of my China journey, I got married, I have a kid, bought a house, have a massive mortgage. You know, all reasons to celebrate really, particularly the last one. Financial pressure. Strawberry cheesecakes. And so my wife, sent me a couple of options for watches and she asked me to make my own decision. Because you're picky. As you could hear. In this part, I just really wanted to talk about why I decided to purchase my Rolex. The first one is obviously budget. Who's that? You don't really see that in any watch video, do you? <laughs> Where was I? The first one's budget. Obviously, purchasing any kind of luxury brand, any kind of luxury watch, you need to really have a budget in mind. Otherwise, things can get pretty crazy and you can be tempted by much better watches at a high price point, which I kind of did with this Rolex. See, my wife saved up about 50k RMB, um, so about 5,000 pounds. Yes, two years ago, Rolex Air King was that much cheaper. Uh, the second point is really about the brand. Uh, for me anyway, growing up, Rolex has always been the luxury brand to purchase in terms of watches. I always saw their sponsorship on all the Wimbledon and F1 and all these other sporting events. It, it has such a legacy and history behind it. The third point the biggest point is really the overall look and feel. You know, when I was researching into the 
Air King. So I was watching a lot of watch reviews talking about how this Air King is really not like any Rolex you will ever see. Some people were saying that from a bad perspective. For me, that made me love this watch even more because deep down I've always wanted to be the cool kid with the unique things. There's always the Rolex Milgauss that was just a bit too crazy funky. Honestly speaking, it's because I love the look. This Rolex really complements my work needs, my casual needs. As you can see, I'm just wearing a basic black a Uniqlo jumper with a decathlon t-shirt and some Urban Vivo jeans. But yeah, just wearing this Rolex really uh, made my outfit stand out. For me, I always feel that my personal style is not, I'm not a fashionable guy, but I, I, I dress with basic colors, kind of like casual smart at times. This is probably the only Rolex watch that has this green uh, logo with the yellow crown. I love this green with the seconds hand. Just brings me back to, you know, all the summers watching Wimbledon on TV. There's a warmth to that memory and that's why for me, it's kind of superficial, but I love how this Air King looks. Like I was saying, it really complements my overall uh, look in terms of suits. And then also casual wear. So in terms of my suits, I'm pretty basic. Um, I always just wear a shirt, a suit jacket, maybe some casual jeans with my uh, shoes that I love. To be very honest, my suit style is very lacking, I could definitely improve. But then I also love to just really dress down and maybe wear an oversized t-shirt um, with jeans or shorts and they are my wrists, my Air King. It really suits my kind of more uh, straightforward, non-pretentious way of dressing. And so then those are really the key reasons why I decided to go with this Air King. If you're very much like me, um, just kind of like casual, easy going, but yet sophisticated to a certain degree I would recommend this Air King it works really well with most styles of clothing as you can see like how the way I dress is quite ordinary to be honest but yeah this watch I wear it with most things I even begin to understand why some some older generation uncles uh, go out in pajamas and just wear a fancy watch honestly it makes an outfit just go out in Shanghai purchasing my grocery and silk PJs. This will just elevate it to the next level. So that's my Rolex story. In closing, I just want to say 10 years commemoration is really just an excuse to get a quality watch, uh, really. All my previous fast, fast fashion watches, they probably lasted me like um, a couple of years, uh, no, one or two years, even this mon mundane probably lasted me like two years and then it gave up. Um, I'm also past my mid 30s, so I think it's time to move beyond just uh, the fossil watches. I'm just very happy knowing that this watch will last me for many, 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 many years to come. And for me, it was never really to show my wealth, obviously, because this is not necessarily the most expensive Rolex. Honestly speaking, I find this Submariner just not very nice looking. I would pick this Rolex Air King over a Submariner any day. The only time I would buy a Submariner is to resell it and use it to buy an Air King or another watch. Controversial. I really like that whole watch culture about passing on something valuable to your next generation. So this is definitely going to uh, my daughter when she grows up, if she wants it that is. Uh, I had a friend who recently purchased uh, the same Air King. Unfortunately for him, he bought it literally like three months before they released the new Air King. So he's more annoyed than I am for sure. Bought retail price, 60,000 RMB, which is about 6,000 pounds. I see people reselling it for about 9,000 pounds. So that's my Rolex story. I hope you enjoyed it. If not, cheesecakes. Oh well. <laughs> um, what's your Rolex story? Leave it in the comments down below. Please remember to like and subscribe if you like my other vlogs. Not this one. This is gonna be the once in a lifetime Rolex video that I will never make again. Thank you to my wife for allowing me to purchase this watch and we did have to save up for it. There's probably better things I could have spent my money on. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one, bye bye. Just is really nice as well, don't you?